Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Chriselle, and today we're going to be checking out a game called The Star Named EOS. If you have not heard of this game before, no worries, this is supposed to be a very cozy, story-rich, puzzle-adventure sort of game built around photography, where you're essentially trying to uncover the truth behind a family mystery. I did also check out the very short gameplay demo for this, I believe about a year and a half to almost two years ago, so I don't entirely remember too much, but I am very excited to finally be able to check out the full game. So yes, anyways, without further ado, thank you so much to the devs for gifting me a code to play, I really appreciate it. As always, of course, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like, it helps me a lot, and let's just go and get started. I'm fully prepared with some tea this time as well. Oh yeah, Silver Lang Studio actually, I think I forgot to say in the intro, but it is the same devs that made a very similar cozy narrative sort of game called Behind the Frame, The Finest Scenery, which we also played on the channel and is genuinely one of my favorite cozy games that we've played. So if you haven't watched that one before, I would highly suggest that one as well after. I don't believe that they're going to be connected or anything, though I would not be surprised if there's going to be Easter eggs, just because in Behind the Frame, the brand name of coffee that was in the game was is called EOS or I think maybe even the cafe. I'm not entirely sure. Yes, as I was saying, I have some green and mint tea this time, so I'm ready to be cozy. <laughs> All right, let's just go ahead and get started. Oh my, a little bit of a flashbang. Okay. Day, day. They changed the voice actor. Okay. Have you ever looked forward to opening your eyes? I think at least. It's been a while since we've played the demo. It might take me a second to remember. The art style is so pretty. Everything, I believe, is hand-drawn, which I might have also said in the demo, so I might repeat myself a little bit for the first few minutes. Hello, mother? Have you ever looked forward to the thing you've been chasing, only to find it right in front of you? What are you pointing at? Oh my goodness, a star. You see, everything shines. Everything. So pretty. When you gaze at the stars, the stars also gaze at you. Oh, I love this. They even changed the, how the stars look. They do not <laughs> fade away just because you close your eyes. Nor will they be dimmed by fleeting clouds. Oh my. This is exactly what just I needed. Open your eyes, and you'll see shooting stars full of wishes. Oh, I needed some like very nice relaxing times. Day, are you asleep? Oh, good morning. Rise and shine. A little letter for me. No, come back. That dream again. Oh, okay. Here we go. The room is a little dim. Better turn on the table lamp first. Okay, yes. So I believe the demo just consisted of me pretty much being in this room to do the puzzles. I don't remember any of the puzzles. So it'll be like the first time all over, as well as I'm sure some of the things change too. It's much brighter now. Did I read that letter? Today, a letter addressed to me. All right, what do we got in here? Photo of a train window. I remember seeing a similar scene somewhere. You'll be able to take a better shot, mom. Okay, thanks mom. Dear day, how are you? I can't stop thinking about you, my travels. As a photographer, I have to capture beauty with my camera. I know you're more talented than I am, Day, and I believe you'll be able to find even more beauty in this world very soon. You see, everything shines. Everything. When you gaze at the stars, the stars also gaze back at you. They do not fade away just because you close your eyes, nor will they be dimmed by fleeting clouds. Just close your eyes and you'll see shooting stars, full of wishes. I'm writing this letter on the train to my destination. The red curtains and flowers make a good contrast against the greenery outside. Wish you were here to see it with me. Love, Mom. Thanks, Mom. Miss you all. Always. I wonder if mom's trip is going well. Where is she traveling to? Let's see if I remember how to do all of these things. So inventory is going to be at the top. I'm going to be blocking it always a little bit, but it's just the photograph that we had just picked up. Let's dip on out of there. This poster is so cute. Mom and me. All right. So what can we look at? This intricate box plays the melody of my memories. All right. There's no handle though. Right. So what am I doing first here? I feel like I've seen this before. I want to capture this scene, but how? Let's keep looking around around then shall we oh yeah there's a book on the shelf here what do we got in here an album for my photography practice it's been a while since i last took a photo seriously oh right so photos of mom and i maybe these are from all of her travels and stuff or maybe when we went together and i miss traveling it has been a hot minute since i've been able to one page illustrated with cute characters what is this about I'm supposed to flip something so green on the bottom yellow on the top oh maybe these are slots for our photographs okay very cool i think that's it for here let's go Go ahead and do this puzzle right now. How was the box I made? I always looked forward to aligning the stars. Do I remember how to do this one? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'll give it my best go, but if it takes me too long, I'll have to speed it up. So 
Is that right? Okay, thank goodness. I think I had the same thing in the demo where I thought I was trying to make a straight line, but it was actually a diagonal that I was trying to do. Okay, but we did find the handle for that music box. Very unique carvings on it. Very cute. Let's go and put that on there right now. Pop that on. Crank that. I actually used to love having um, music boxes when I was a kid, and I recently found a couple of them, and it felt very nostalgic. Hello, little wooden toy. It's looking a bit lonely. Wooden boy doll. Is that supposed to be us? Okay, so I did see that there was this one here. Oh, this wooden family seems to be missing something. Yeah, a lonely little lad. Cute. <laughs> All right, what do we got in here? Collectible poster. I should put it up somewhere. Something fighter here, maybe? A blank wall. Not for long. Here we go. Now the wall is full of memories. I don't know what kind of memory that's from. Maybe like a movie or something that they saw together, perhaps? What else we've got here? Oh yeah, I think there was things in the desk. A card here. Birthday card, maybe? Dear day. Happy birthday. Take a look around you. If you pay attention, you'll find that the world is full of surprises. Guess what I got you? You've always wanted this. Love, mom. 0524. I don't I don't remember what this code is for. You would think that me playing the demo had, um, I got a dream birthday gift that year. Yeah, you would think that me playing the demo means that I would remember the puzzles, but I really don't remember at all. Okay, here we go. I used to look forward to story time with mom. Oh, a sad little lad. All right, he's going out on a little adventure. Oh, I think there was something with these flower petals that I had to remember, and I don't remember what it was. I'm going to write down the petals, though. All right, so he's asking bunny for help he don't know bear don't know oh nobody knows little snake and a cat i'm just writing it down on a piece of paper the numbers that are shown oh actually this is the torn page that we had found wasn't it yeah so we can do this so this is the complete story oh right so this is what the flipping around was because the tag was at the bottom so a shirt was upside down so if this is at the top then it's actually at the bottom okay very good to know i love the art style this is very sweet right so this is just the back as we've already seen seen this cat one. Oh, poor little guy is very lost. The stars are very beautiful. Oh, uh, he's a little, uh, what are they called? Nightlight bugs? I forgot what they're called. Firefly. Oh, and I guess this is like his family, so they're happy to find him. So sweet. This is very cute, this little drawing here. All right, cool. Yeah, so I believe the flowers was a code for some thing. It's probably for this box that had flower. I feel like I've seen the shape somewhere. Yes, sir. Okay, so order is one, two, three, four. Yes. Okay, good. Very nice. Origami flowers. A gift I made for Mother's Day. I really need to get back into origami. I used to do it a lot when I was younger, but I kind of fell off of it. I did make an origami flower once a few years ago, but it was very difficult. I was going to make a bouquet and I got into like one of them and that was it. Oh, it's a little plant here. What's that for? A potted plant to liven up the room. Sure. What else do we have in here? Oh, it's like a little photo over here. Can you look at that? We're all smiling so happily in this photo. I wonder what happened or like how long ago this this is supposed to be though. Oh, here's the camera. Okay, in a safe. Cool, you can like see in it as well. Dry cabinet holds my birthday present from way back when. I think I know the password. What was it again? I think it was 0524 from the card. Yeah, want a compass, pocket compass. It's missing some parts so it doesn't work. Some of the patterns are worn away. Oh, okay. And this one. I can use it to capture every moment of life. These cameras are so cool. I feel like it's quite impractical for me to ever own one like this, but I hope the camera mom gave me still works properly. I did used to be very into photography when I was younger, so I always kind of have like a soft spot for photography sorts of things. I remember, I think the very first like proper DSLR camera that I ever got, I was still in like early baby high school. I saved for so many months. Oh my God. Okay, actually I can show you guys the camera. It's been forever since I even pulled this thing out. I used to use this a ton for photography class and just my own photography adventures. This is my old baby. <laughs> it's not very good anymore. It got to a point where phone cameras got so good that now this one is very obsolete because literally the megapixels is not as good as even a phone camera would be. But this one was the Sony SLT A33. This one was really prone to like overheating and such. So they ended up doing a clear out and they made a new version that didn't have the problem, or at least not as much supposedly. But it was mostly for video stuff, and at the time it only did photographs, so this was my baby, and my mom got me like this little handcrafted bee strap sort of thing that has like paint and shit on it now, but yeah, it's been a really long time since I've even thought about that. And even like this bag is like a really old leather bag that my dad used to use when he was into photography way long ago. Yeah, anyways, just a little side thing <laughs> that I thought I would share since it seems kind of relevant. I don't know 
know what to take a photograph of. The window, I suppose. Oh, very nice. So I need to zoom out. Oh, that's a cool way to go to, to show the mechanic. So still further out. Seems like it wants me to zoom even further, but that's the most that I can actually <laughs> zoom out. So maybe I need to go in. Oh, okay. You think the mechanic's really good and then doing it completely wrong. Oh my lord. This looks like the photo mom sent me, but it's lacking something. Yeah, all the decorations. All right. One out of 80 photos I can take? Holy. I wonder if it's limited or maybe you'll always get a prompt like that. All right. Seems good. Yeah, I do kind of miss photography stuff a bit. It's been years since I've really done any of it, but maybe one day when um, things are not as expensive to buy. <laughs> I mean, not that you need a nice camera or anything like that. Using your phone is totally fine as well. It's kind of interesting because I used to be someone who would take photographs of everything and now I rarely take photos at all. I guess because I'm trying to be like more in the moment, but also, I don't know, I guess I just kind of fell out of love with it a little bit, but I'm sure I'll return back to it again at some point, so I'm not too worried. There's so many places I've never been to. Okay, yes, yeah, so this little symbol up top here, the little triangle, I believe that as well as some of the other ones scattered around the room. We are gonna need for this, there's some letters on the log. Do I remember though what all the things in order was? No, but I'll try to keep an eye out. <laughs> okay, before we do that though, let's go back over here. It looks a bit like the photo mom sent me. Can I really take a better shot? We did have the flowers we can pop in there. I don't know if the compass was supposed to be here. Can I take a look at this? Okay, so we need curtains mostly. Oh, we should also, it's on this side, I think. Okay, so can I take a look at this compass? Cause I don't remember this. It's missing some parts, so it doesn't work. Most of the patterns are worn away. Worn away? It looks like the patterns got notched out with a knife or something. Okay, but north is a star. Oh, so maybe this is part of the code. Oh, there was this here. I can't wait till the day I go stargazing with mum. Nine, so it's a star. So maybe this is north? Actually, the compass has an eight point star versus this one is just a regular five. So then maybe that makes this south. And also I remember over here, there was a sun. Can I take a look at the compass again, actually? Okay, so north has an eight point star versus the calendar has a five point. So maybe this is south. So behind me is north. If this is north and east will be triangle and west will be diamond, if I am not mistaken. Okay, there we go. All right, it looks like the curtains in mom's photos. Maybe I should put them up. Lock these on. Now this looks like mom's photo. Okay, camera time. Maybe zoom it in a little bit. I feel like we could get some more interesting angles, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> Dear Day. The beginning achievement. I've always believed that seeing it gives it reality. If you see something and experience it as beautiful, there is beauty. So sweet. My photo of a window. Mom saw the same view too. And the achievement was the beginning. The original purpose hidden in the photos. The red curtains and flowers contrast nicely with the rolling green fields outside the window. This is the view she saw back then. How long ago was this? Today. Letter addressed me. Same one? Different one. Photo of delicious food. It looks so good I can almost smell it. Feel every moment of life your heart, mom. That looks so good. I am so hungry. <laughs> All right, what else we got? Dear day. The camera I gave you is the best I've ever had. It has to be that good to match your talent. I'm now in a big bustling city. When I take a break from work, I often come to this cafe to sit by the window and watch people passing by. With your talent of capturing beauty, I wonder what photos you could take here. I've always believed that seeing it gives it reality. If you see something and experience it as beautiful, there is beauty. But more importantly, the food is amazing here. I hope to share this with you sometime. I look forward to our promised day. Oh, our promised day is our where name is day. <laughs> Love mom. So sweet. Okay, great. Where is this train going? This is so cute. Can I just like, oh my goodness. Yeah. That's the photo I want. Oh, it's kind of crooked, but it's okay. A two out of eight. So maybe you can take more photos than is necessary. Well, I'll try not to take too many because I don't want to fill up. Never travel on an empty stomach. Food time. Yes, please. Is this where you put your ticket? I've actually never been on a train, though I would love to one day. All right, well, shall we take a look at this puzzle box? Oh no. Everyone needs something to pass the time during a trip. I'm guessing we need to get this to here. So we'll just, um, let's see how this goes. It's probably gonna take me a hot minute, so we'll We'll just do a little speed up again and I'll see you guys after. <laughs> hmm. Here we go. Wow. 
<laughs> it took a little bit longer than I thought it would. Nice. Magnifying glass. The devil is always in the details. Okay. Sure. All right. What about this? This looks like the photo mom sent me, but it's lacking something. Oh, the food. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I was like, am I supposed to remember the flowers thing again? Because I don't. Oh yeah. Just in case for anyone who didn't see the demo, this is all starting to be new to me now, including the puzzle. I believe where the demo had left off was when we had gotten on the train. I don't remember if we had the letter or not yet. So everything going on will be very fresh to me now. Well, it looks like we've got a map here. All right, what do we got? The world is so big, it makes everything look so small and insignificant. True. Am I supposed to take this, maybe? Oh, okay, I was gonna, I was looking, yeah, at the point. Okay, so maybe that's where we're going. Do I need to do these in a certain order, maybe? Not sure. Infinite. Okay, so maybe I start here. Maybe I'm just supposed to remember the symbols, actually. I was thinking maybe if I land on each point, something would happen, but maybe I just need to write it down. Hopefully, when we find something I can use that for, we'll be set. Do anyone remember that number? 1270? I don't know how many things, so I'm just gonna make a note of everything. <laughs> this is so pretty. Maybe I'll take a little photo of this one, too. <laughs> oh, sandwich coupon. Can I actually get a sandwich? Can I look up here? Every suitcase represents a story and the start of a journey. Sure. Oh, there's a suitcase over here. Maybe this one. Covered in the marks of a long journey. Yeah. So maybe this one is 1270. Oh, maybe these are the symbols. I see. Wanna see what happens if I do all infinite? Oh, Mobius. Everlasting. <laughs> okay, cute. All right, so this is the code here from the map. Cute. Insulated flask is filled with piping hot coffee enough to last the whole trip. That is not enough to last for the whole trip. <laughs> Or maybe if you're only doing like one mug a day or something. Steel cup, durable travel companion. I don't think I can click on anything else. Is there something under the clothes? Oh, I can. Oh, I move it. <laughs> oh, I have to Tetris this. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize it was a puzzle. <laughs> okay, cool. I see. Oh, I might have, um, okay, give me a second here. Oh, did I get it? Nice. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that would work or not. Very good. Oh, is this our sandwich ticket? It says can be redeemed for one today special. Very nice. Meal ticket. All right. Seems good. Did I miss anything else? Just want to make sure I'm not going to miss like little achievements or anything like that. So I'm not necessarily achievement hunting. I'm just kind of... Oh, is there something hidden in the wall lamp? A wall lamp? Oh, here. Oh my god. <laughs> Metal handle. It must be needed somewhere. Sure. Oh. Yeah, I'll try not to miss anything, but also it is my first time, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes, you know? Okay. What do you think the handle is for? So now, let's try the meal ticket and then ring the bell. Oh, so cute. A sandwich. Just like the one in mom's photo. Looks very appetizing. It does. Cool. Can I get some tea too? Oh, maybe I just have to put these here actually. Okay. Was there anything else that I missed though? Hopefully not. There is this here. Oh, the handle. Oh my gosh. There's an inconspicuous little drawer here. Okay. Let's do that. Can I open? A fork. Oh, perfect. Cutlery. The key to a complete meal. Why would that be in a drawer without a handle? I have no idea. All right, so let's go ahead and put this here with a little mug some coffee. So cozy. Oh my. Oh, I love that. Okay. Was there anything else that I missed from it? Oh, the fork. Yes. Most important part. <laughs> now this looks exactly like mom's photo. Oh, I love it. There we go. With the lighting on the side too. It's so nice. Did I already take a photo of this too? Should I? Just for the memories. <laughs> okay, cool. Now what? Can I eat? Time to take a photo. I did. What do you mean? Did I not? Maybe I missed. No, it's definitely right there. <laughs> okay, maybe I have to zoom in. So it's just like mom's. Like this? Ah, okay. Dear the journey. Day. Follow her footsteps achievement. Life is a journey to discover the unknown. Beauty doesn't beg for your attention. It sits and waits for you to take the first step. Cute. My photo of delicious food. I wish we could eat this together one day. Yeah. The music's so cozy. It's so cute. The delicious aroma of food and the buzzing sounds of the city. She sat down and wrote me a letter at this very table. <gasps> are, we where, are we where I think I am? Is this the cafe? Because the music sounds kind of similar to behind the frame. Oh. <laughs> Today, a letter addressed to me. That would be so cute. Photo of a lakeside. Quiet, beautiful nature. Widen the horizons on your own two feet. Mom. Wow, mom said touch grass. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, dear day. Seeing things through the finder makes them look new and exciting, as if you've never seen them before. I bet you feel the same way now that you've picked up photography as well. Right now, I'm in a place surrounded by mountains. The lake I'm at is like a diamond embedded in a rocky crown. The sounds of bugs and birds ring all around me, singing the praises of Mother Nature. Life is a journey to discover the unknown. Beauty doesn't beg for your attention. It sits and waits for you to take the first step. I hope that one day you will be brave enough to chase your dreams too. This is so sweet. Are there any traces of mum here? The jacket? Is that hers? Maybe. It's a nice coat. The coat looks familiar, but I can't but I can't remember who it belongs to. Your your mother, your mum, your mama. <laughs> Maybe. Anything in the pockets? Oh, a metal needle. Oh, for the compass. I totally forgot about it. Cool. Why is that in your pocket? Oh my god. <gasps> the cats. Yes. Every painting depicts the world as the artist sees it. Oh, hide the frame, the fit, the fine scenery. This is so cozy. Oh my god. I love this so much. I've been thinking about getting back into like painting and art again, but I don't know, man. This does make me feel the need to paint though. Okay. All right. I'm getting distracted. Can I see where I am? It says bar. Oh, and the, the, what are these called? Awning. It is green. Is this is where we are. Oh. Oh, maybe it's different. I don't know. I can't tell. There's little spots for photos on here, though. Oh, what's that? A little necklace? Did someone drop their necklace? Oh, puzzle time. Okay, time to lock in. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm just trying to line everything up. Wait, how is this turning? Oh, okay, so the outside and the inside change at the same time. So, oh, I see. Okay, so just need... Wait, how do I... So I need to line the middle one up first and then the outside? Is that right? This one changes both the outside and the inside, so I need to make sure the rose is facing up. Oh god. Wait, how does that work? I feel like this is one of these things that's probably really obvious to everyone else except for me. I was never very good at um Rubik's Cubes and this is kind of making me feel <laughs> like how I feel when I play those. I, I can't tell how to do it without moving the other things. The inside ones are right, but then this one needs to go so that this lines up. This is what I'm checking. But then this one either always ends up being upside down. Oh, I got it. Oh my god. When I tell you, I literally just had to keep clicking because I could not figure out how to do it. There's probably some like really easy math brain <laughs> sort of way to just figure that out. But I literally just kept clicking until it worked. Okay, that took an embarrassingly long amount of time. <laughs> Pressed flowers. They're the same flowers as the one in mom's photo. Oh, and there was a photo of somebody there too. A lost item waiting to be found. Wait, so was that the mom's locket or did she give that to somebody? Because maybe that was a photo of the mom. Okay, all right. What about these? The van is blocking the view. Oh. It does also say that you can't park here, so maybe wait for the time to change? Oh, there was a clock here. The clock is missing a hand. Oh, is that the hand that was in my pocket, actually? I thought that was for the compass, but maybe it wasn't. Okay, so maybe this is here? Yeah. Let's go ahead and change the time, shall we? It has to be like after 45, actually, wouldn't it? Wait. What do I do there? <gasps> Yes, that worked. I wasn't sure like how exact it needed to be. Oh, fantastic. Oh, uh, 72. So that's probably for a particular reason. It's like there's planes and stuff here too. God, the music is so cozy. I love it. Okay, a lot of photographs outside of it as well. Or like flyers. All right, what else do we have? We get some bread. That looks so good. Was I supposed to eat the food as well, by the way? I totally forgot. <laughs> I probably should. Oh, that was blurry. Foodie photographer, eat it while it's hot. All right, let's eat it. This food looks so appetizing. Oh, snake 1000. Should I be writing these things down? I feel like I need to take notes while I play. Okay, and then let's drink our coffee. Mmm, delicious. I'm stuffed. The cafe has really good food. Hell yeah. Are we supposed to take one as well? I don't know what kind of achievements we can get for this, but <laughs> I'll just figure I'll try some things out. All right. A toolbox. Oh, I feel like I've seen this metal box before. Oh, have I? Oh, actually, oh, I don't know if it would work or not. Okay, first things first. There's a snake on here. Maybe there's something else that will give me a number here. Plus a thousand minus whatever this number would be. Okay, but I don't know if this is too specific or not to the other game, but in behind the frame they did have a workbox like this i don't remember if it's exactly the same or not but i wonder if the same code would work for it which i think was behind the frame a familiar number that's so cute oh 
Yeah, it was like the toolbox was I think for like paints and stuff. Okay, but that did not unlock it. So I guess that's not the code, which makes sense because that wouldn't really be fair to anyone who hasn't played it yet. Oh, actually, there's this one here. So it was 1011 plus 1000 minus something. Oh, here actually, this one, 1200. Oh, unless that wasn't the thing. Oh, actually this was like a city and that's like an animal. Hmm. What am I missing? It's a symbol up there. I don't know if that means anything. Oh, actually 72, right? 72 it was on the building. Yeah, and this was the building. Okay, 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 cool. <laughs> Okay, so then we need to do 1939. Cool. Scissors. They look pretty sharp. Sure. All right. <laughs> what are those for? Is there anything else that I had missed, maybe? Oh, there's actually this here. What is this for? Wires are scattered all over the place. Okay, maybe I can use my scissors on this. I see. All right. Let's cut that all up. Probably for the window, actually, because that's the only thing we haven't done, I think. All right, flyer cut out. It looks a lot like the tent in mom's photo. What was mom's photo? I don't even remember. Oh, yes, okay. <laughs> So maybe I've got to recreate this then. I love how we're just leaving our garbage on the ground. <laughs> All right. Let's put the tent here and the flowers here. I don't know what else needs to go there though. Oh, that this is it. That's a shot. Okay. So maybe I just need to photograph it. Try and get the sign out of it though. Oh, cute. Yes, Setting sun. A pleasant afternoon. Darkness is everywhere around us and we're always running eagerly towards the light. But we don't have to be afraid. Just open your eyes and take a good look. Look at the darkness. The place where light meets darkness is where miracles happen. Oh, so cozy. My photo of a lakeside. There was a time where you could see mom's reflection in the lake instead of just the bright sky. <laughs> so sweet. All right. Oh, cute. The breeze carries the forest blessings to whoever will accept them. Did mom come here to capture this view on camera? So cute. I love when there's string lights. A letter addressed to me. Oh, the letter's torn. I know what it says. Oh, okay. So maybe we're trying to look for more pieces. Okay. Good to know. A photo this time though. What is this? T with four marks. Oh my God. This is so pretty. Holy moly, man. Oh, wow. Okay. What do we got? Should be something I need inside. Oh. I don't know what the code is. We'll come back to that in a second. Can I take a photo of this actually? It's so pretty. Oh my. I love it. It's actually so adorable. The little like coffee and the lights and the dough. I love it. <laughs> okay, okay. What else can we look at? Oh, there's more markings. T with a bunch of things. Or maybe it's a cross? I don't know. It's got everything you need to know about surviving in the wilderness. Oh. Oh. Knots? <laughs> okay, so maybe I'll need to know this for later. Perhaps? Oh, there's more. What does this mean? Okay, I'll try and keep that in mind. We can probably reference this later as well, I imagine. What else can I look Look at some signs over here. I need to take a photo of that. I don't know how many photos I should be taking or not. Maybe right there? Sure. And then there's a grill here. Oh, a key. What's that thing sparkling in the charcoal? Oh, how do I grab that? Do I have anything for that? Not really. Maybe I'll need like tongs or something to get it out. Which if they were grilling, it's probably not an issue. Do I need to take photos of this? I wonder. Take a photo just in case. That one has a mark before it. Oh, and there's one of these uh little sun marking on here as well. Is that important for anything? Perhaps. Oh, oh my god. This view with the... So cute. So cozy. Holy moly. Oh, actually, and it looks like there's also a marking there. Oh, maybe it's the same marking. I don't know what that's for. I haven't really camped like in the woods proper like this before, so maybe it's just markings for that. Oh my god. Oh, you can see little campers across the way. Oh, <gasps> so we've got a fire. Oh, what's that on the plates? I should be careful when I move them. Oh, okay. How careful? What do you mean? Will I break it? Perhaps. I'm not being very careful right now. Oh, maybe I just have to stack them. Uh, wait, how do I stack a square? Oh, I can't stack this here? Hmm, maybe if I do this way. Okay, it's just about size. Oh wait, but then how do I move it <laughs> off the way? I thought maybe you had to match the shapes or something. So this is a little confusing. It's so close, but so far. Maybe, do I do this way? Oh, maybe. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> God. Oh, there we go. Why is that so complicated? Letter fragment. I can't make out the words very well. Yeah. Imagine we'll have to complete that with our torn pieces. Oh, there's another thing. The code right here. Okay, I'll take a photo just in case. It's just so cozy. All right. Oh, there's a thing here. Letter in a bottle. What's inside? Oh, more symbols. Okay. I'm just going to draw it in case I need this later, which I'm sure I will. What about the boat here? Oh, I can actually click on it. Exploring the world at the bottom of the lake with just one thin line. True. Can I reel anything in? There we go. 
Okay, I think I just had to wait for the ripples. Okay, there we go. Boots. That wouldn't have caused ripples. All right, I'll take it. Oh, well, could I not have taken it as well? Oh, fishing hook. Looks like I could hook up anything. Sure. All right, so the boots was for nothing. <laughs> oh, but you know what? I bet we could use that for the key. Let's take this. There we go. Okay, so how do I... Oh, I see. Is this the right way? Probably. Nope, never mind. Oh, here. I see. Okay, it's like kind of hard to tell where the lines stop and end because of the color of it all. Oh, actually, that was not too bad. I say, as I get stuck. <laughs> there we go. All right, key. This might come in handy later. Okay, so that is probably for this guy here. Oh, wait, but this was a code thing, not a key. <laughs> wait a second. Maybe the little notches on these are supposed to be on here. Okay, so maybe then... What would that be then? So up, up, middle, down. Nice. Okay, cool. Oh, and it has the rope that we needed. Flexible yet firm. Sure. I'm so glad that worked, because otherwise I'd be confused. <gasps> Look as well. I see that there. EOS. <laughs> and a star. I saw that earlier too. <laughs> no achievement though. Wait, what did I need the rope for? This one. Let's try the rope on here. Oh, and now we'll need the rope tying thing. Right. Okay, I pulled up a screenshot of the book that we were looking at so I don't have to keep going back and forth. So it's going to be right, left, right, right, left. Nice. Very good. Feels pretty sturdy. Sure. Cozy. Oh, and there's a thing here. Better fragment. The swinging hammock makes me feel a bit drowsy. Yeah, fair enough. I guess maybe we should take a photo of everything, like, not broken. <laughs> that might be a little bit cozier. There we go. What was the message in the bottle thing for? It's a clue in the parchment paper. Big star, the little star, and the moon. Oh, actually, hold on. I remember seeing... Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> the sun, star, the moon, and here. So maybe I just have... Didn't I take a photo here, though? I thought so, but maybe I wasn't close enough or something. Oh, there's a spot right there. Did something just twinkle in the grass? I should go take a closer look. Sure. Okay. Oh, seems to be something buried here. Oh, I want to know. Can I do anything about that? Pick it up with a key? <laughs> okay, maybe not yet. Maybe I have to do the letter, actually. I've been kind of putting it off. I want to know the answer. Me too, honestly. Okay, let's do this. Oh, am I still missing a piece? I thought I had all of them. Do we have a shovel? I don't remember seeing one. Oh, actually, wait, I totally didn't even see this here. Box always took goal one's curiosity for the unknown yeah for the key i totally forgot <laughs> Okay, let me guess. This has our shovel. Yes. Okay, good. Great for digging. All right, so now we should be able to pick this up here. Very good. Oh, okay, cool. And that's the last piece of the letter. So now let's pop that right there. Dear day, darkness is everywhere around us and we're always running eagerly towards the light, but we don't have to be afraid. Just open your eyes and take a good look at the darkness. The place where light meets darkness is where miracles happen. Oh, it's starting to rain. You probably already know the truth by now. I hope that by the time you find this letter, you've already found Wait! Okay, I don't think there was anything else after that. No, everything's over. What is that? Photo fragment. Can't tell what this is a photo of. Sky? I should find somewhere to shelter from the rain and fast. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, it looks so different now. Kind of cool, though. Oh, it's kind of beautiful. <laughs> a little spookiness. All right, sure. There's a thing over there. I just want to make sure I'm, you know, not missing nothing. Wow, that flash did nothing. Okay, so maybe there's nothing to be found. <laughs> maybe I should take a photo over here, really. Maybe I'll wait for the little lightning oh oh sudden shower an extinguished campfire achievement all right oh we're back home how come oh is this my room oh the photo album can i click on that i'm back at the start of my journey yeah oh maybe this is what the photo was <laughs> okay so that's fine were these photos here before i don't even remember what was and wasn't this is where that torn page was oh can i put my photos oh i see the train the cafe the campfire All right nice oh ink bleeding that's not good why oh oh my okay what happened eyes being covered out oh maybe that's a hat i can't seem to pick up any of these pieces either 0524 oh isn't that my birthday card why is it all ripped up why what is this all scribbled out for what happened here Are these like drafts of the letter maybe or oh what's this stained paper fragment i'll need more pieces if i want to read this 226 maybe maybe i need to have another photo to go there sure whoa what happened here everything's like torn up maybe that rain was actually a really bad storm or something that kind of tore the house up i'm not sure should i give them away or put them in the attic give them away why are you doing that it's a little childish to still have this in my room oh so maybe we are in the future is that my camera too but i have my camera what are you talking about oh maybe that's the mom's camera that's her id maybe Unless that's my id can't click on it either what the heck happened here i can't do anything with this oh no there's a lot of square buttons 
Am I just supposed to like click on all of them? I don't know what <laughs> the Oh, you pressed 24 buttons and realized it wasn't the right answer achievement. <laughs> okay, how's this? No? Okay, I was just thinking because of the achievement, it looked like there was some buttons pressed down differently, but I guess that's probably what I'm going to be looking for here. <laughs> oh, the plant's dead. It must have been so long since anyone watered it. Should I get rid of it? Why is it so sad now? Oh my, drawer's still open. What's going on here? Even all our photos and our books too? Oh my, what's this for? Did the icons on the lock mean something? Oh, camera, lightning, fire sun moon star i mean probably what if i just do a cheeky little five stars oh five star review don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs> that little notification bell she went <laughs> god okay so i probably have to find some sort of key for that that's gonna be cute oh man everything huh can i click on the box itself not really what if i take a photo of the box oh the owl no so sad. What if I take a photo of all of these? Oh, does this scenery actually exist? Or is it an idealized version of it? What? The frame on this is beautiful too. What does that mean? Oh god, am I supposed to be taking photos of very specific things? This still looks nice, warm, and cozy though. Oh, this looks so different from the very beginning too, huh? Oh, what's that? Oh, it looks like there's a thing right there. Maybe a letter? One. Oh, actually. <gasps> Cool. There's something off with the corner of this wallpaper. Let me in there. Can I peel it? Jesus, this is a little knife. Doesn't seem to work here. Okay. What do I need? I left my scissors at the other place. Oh, the song is a little old fashioned. Sealed memories, grayed out memories achievement. No. That's so sad. What about here? It keeps playing video static. Okay, so sun. Oh, is this for the code for the box? Okay, hold on. Or maybe it's that for this. I'm not really sure what to turn it to though. Okay, maybe we'll come back to this in a second. I feel like I'm missing something for that. Oh man, this is so different here too. Should I take a photo or is that too sad? <laughs> oh, when did I stop looking outside? Oh, and this one has a fancy frame too. What is this for? Two starred ones. Oh, it says a third. The reply that never came. What? Okay, so what else am I supposed to take a photo of? What did I take a photo of originally? I don't even know. <laughs> am i looking for oh there's like a tetris shape here oh maybe that's for this okay okay oh there's another one on this box actually i don't know like how close i have to be zoomed in for those like fancy border ones either what if i zoom on this one oh there's a sticker on that one the little fire symbol oh Oh wait, that's the same one. Can I take this up? Did I tear it down? I don't remember. I don't think I did. Something did or someone. Oh, there's another one of those little symbols there too, actually. Right there. Fire. Another touch of shape right there. Maybe it's on all of the memory boxes, actually. Because there's one on this one and on this one too, actually. There's so many letters here. I wonder if I was drafting letters or maybe these are all the torn up letters of the mum. I'm not really sure. Let's go ahead and try this now. So I think it was like this. Maybe. Is that right? I'm missing one, aren't I? Okay. I had to go back and check. I definitely missed one here. <laughs> okay, I just did it wrong. All right, nice. Stain the paper fragment. Can't make out anything except for the numbers on the top right. Okay, so zero five. Let's go back for the radio now. I think what I need to do is I need to put this here. Okay, now this makes more sense. So, what is this again? This is Morse code. How do I... Maybe I missed something else in here. Why did mom go on her journey? Good question. I was thinking maybe I could put some of the fragments in here, but I don't know know where to put them okay so you know what this piece that we just got fm 104.9 so i think that's what i needed to do for this one maybe here and then oh i'm kind of blocking it i think this is the morse code okay hold on okay i had to kind of sit there for a while so i'm just gonna cut that out for you <laughs> so it's sun camera cloud star and then fire i think yes a knife oh my small knife they're rusty in places but still sharp why do we have a knife like that locked up okay and we've got another one of these i guess mirrors i can't make out the words two five perhaps okay oh i was thinking we could get whatever was inside of that box looks like something else was locked up oh there's only three pieces for some reason i thought we'd need four. Oh, two, three, six, five. i was totally wrong then oh my tensions rise due to war oh is that why the mom left maybe she was a war photographer i'm not sure okay well at least now we've got a knife so we can do this which we saw earlier oh it's a safe i thought it was gonna be another letter okay so i'm guessing then that that code that we just got is inside this cabinet cabinet two three six five nice oh this is all the stuff that we've been collecting isn't it coffee cup a mug Whoa! What's happening? 
Whoa, that sent shivers down my whole body. This is very different. Whoa, this is so sad. Oh, these are bunks now. Camera's over there as well. There's no letter. Bullet holes. What the heck is going on? I can't access my camera either. It looks very sunny outside still at least. Oh, there's another corner. Star glimmers faintly on the dark blue canvas. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> whoa. That was kind of scary. Oh, the reality is very different. Jesus. Holy. Oh god, was it always in a war the entire time? Oh my god, that truck was not just a truck, huh? Good lord. Oh, I can't eat either. This is so sad. Who is that? Is that the mom? Maybe. Another corner. Star glimmers faintly on the dark blue canvas. I'm so sad. I can't interact at all with this person. I love how this one corner still looks like very pretty though. <gasps> oh my god, she keeps scaring me like a ghost. Maybe she is a ghost. I mean, we're basically going over, I assume, the memories and like how it was in their mind versus how it really was. Oh my god, totally different. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Wait, no. I'm so sad. Whoa. There's a tank being right there too. Oh, there's another thing here. Man. Is this also a place Mom has seen? Seems like it. So I guess that answers the question as to why she left. It's very beautiful though. Oh my god. So you're gonna make me cry. So the mom was killed in the war. to do. <laughs> I'm very sad. 212. I've just come back from my camping trip with Day. It's been so long since we've planned a relaxing holiday like this. Even though being a reporter is really hectic. Oh, she was a reporter, not just a photographer. It's what I've always wanted to do, so I'm happy with how things are. I hope my son will also find joy in exploring the world just like I have. Even the smallest things in the world hold beauty within. I hope my son will always stay true to himself no matter what troubles he may face. The global political situation is really unstable these days, and I was so busy today that I missed Day's birthday party. The best I could do was leave his present on his bedside table as a surprise, but I know he'll love it. 617. There's no stopping the war now. What's the meaning of war anyways? Across the ages, there has never been a concrete answer to that question. Light is born from contrast, but I don't want my child to understand darkness, and I've been avoiding letting him know. But if I were to tell him, how? I still have no idea how to go about it. It's been half a year since I last went camping with my son, but thanks to the war, these same blue skies and green nature have all turned a fiery red and ashen gray. Countless young people, all with bright futures ahead of them have been forced to set foot in this cruel battlefield to protect their country. They all look so young, and they always remind me of Day. The only thing linking me back to Day is the AM684 radio that plays back at home. I wonder if he's listening too. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna write it down. I don't think it's necessary because we already know what the radio was, but just because it's bolded like that, I feel like I should. I used to never be able to tell if I was making the right choices, but maybe it's better not to think about it. Today's the day I promise day we would go stargazing together. Unlike the last time we went, the sky is so clear today. Without a cloud in sight, the stars will definitely be bright and clear tonight. I'm so sorry, Day. Is this stain what I think it is? Is that blood? I'll just say it's dirt, because otherwise I'm gonna be, <laughs> gonna be too sad to do anything else. Oh, God. Wow, this took a very different turn than I was expecting. Okay. God. This is so sad. Does the truth not exist unless I press the shutter? Whoa, even the frame of this too. Piecing it together, a story told through photos achievement. Oh, so now we've got these three photos in here as well. I was thinking, yeah, because it had a different frame. The reply that never came. It feels like things only become real when I press the shutter and capture the moment on camera. Which story should I believe? The warm handwritten letters or the cold typewritten news? Does the beauty I feel actually exist? If not even photos are accurate to reality, then neither are my memories. Is there even any point in trying, in searching the unknown and the world ahead of me? I miss you so much, mom. I don't know where I should go now. 
I feel so bad for Day. I have a feeling that maybe there was one like this for every chapter now and that I maybe just didn't get them, which I'm a little bit sad about. So I kind of want to go and grab them, though I don't even know what I need to take photos of because I wasn't aware until now that I even needed to look for anything. So maybe we'll go in after we finish it to grab the other ones. I don't really want to interrupt the flow of it just because we're kind of getting to like a more serious part. And it seems like this one's probably the most important one to get, honestly, at least at this point. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do the radio thing again. So this time I need AM684. What do I need? This one here? It's probably the closest I'll get. 684. Okay, I'm gonna decipher the Morse code and I'll uh, meet you guys back after. <laughs> The top part looks like it can be opened, yeah. So it's pretty much the same code, except it had a moon in the middle and then a star at the end. Nice, okay, it won't budge. Oh, okay, what do I do about that? Oh, actually, maybe I just have to take this back out instead because that looks like it's part of the compass, right? Oh, we can, pocket compass. It's missing some parts, so it doesn't work. Some of the patterns are worn away. Okay, I guess we're done with the radio then. Which, thank goodness, because it um, takes way too long for me to figure out the code. The shape of this base seems a little familiar. Sure does. Here we go. And then... I can put this. Okay, because that's what I originally thought when we picked it up. But then once we had it for the clock, then I wasn't sure. But then it was kind of weird that it stuck in our inventory because none of the other stuff had that we didn't need anymore. Okay, so let's pick that up. The needles keep wobbling to and fro. Can it lead me back on track? Yes, please. That would be great. Oh, whoa. All right. So are we just going north? Oh, maybe I have to... Wow. Okay. Oh, I have to keep focusing on it. I tried to move my camera down so I could see the entire thing. But um, yeah, that works cute little shooting star a closet oh, this is so weird Can I take a photo of that okay before we do that though i do want to see if we can put that other photo that we had in here before i forget about it because i think this one should go here oh don't think it should be able to here really what is this one for then maybe it's just supposed to be left blank for now okay let's go in did mom prepare this for our promise uh tripod oh maybe camera it doesn't fit here what do you mean oh i see now okay <laughs> for some reason i thought that the camera would be on the base because and then the lens because usually that's how cameras nowadays do it but i don't know okay whoa pretty what oh very beautiful my goodness this is so pretty wow oh my goodness I take a photo of this one too. So cute. When did I stop looking outside? Oh, that's the same as the other one that we had taken before. Oh. What's that about? A secret? Okay. What do you want? Like, f oh my. <laughs> okay and see something appeared where the stars crossed oh how many of those do i need can i oh i see so all the stars go away after i come out of the camera okay let's just open this what on earth is that looks like it's missing something compass oh compass wow pretty looks like an astrolobe an astronomical instrument i probably did not say that word right at all okay so then i think we need to turn it to august 12 or was it two yeah it was 12 okay because in the diary it said six months since the camping trip i don't think i can interact with the compass at all though so cool beautiful i don't really know what to do now though oh there's more of these okay great let's do this one here very good Nice. All right, let's take a look. Oh, more of these. Torn photo. Didn't we already finish that one though? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know how many photos I need to take. I'm like kind of paranoid after <laughs> the other like secret one though. What else do we need? This is so cool. Hmm, actually, would there be anything else in here that I needed? Oh, there was this. Birthday? We could try. 05, 24. I was just thinking for like new things. 24. Nice. I wonder how many of these we're gonna have to do. There's like a few other dates, but I'm not sure if anything else would be important. I'm just thinking it was probably like whatever's in the actual um <laughs> the photo album perfect beautiful <laughs> cool all right what you got for me oh more photo oh let's try that again that i it was like a bigger photo perhaps oh okay that makes sense see here i see i was wondering why it didn't fit perfectly but i thought maybe just like time wore down the edges or something nine five 
Okay, I'm writing it down. It's the date we promised. Oh, right. So sweet. So I can't pick this up? I was thinking maybe I put it in the album. Okay, let's try again. So now we need September 5th. There we go. Okay, so... Oh, here. Right, because the calendar had a little star on it. I totally forgot about that. Whoa, was I not supposed to take a photo? Oh, okay. <laughs> maybe now? Got it. A promise beyond the star's achievement. So pretty. Shooting stars. Just like the beginning. Oh, is this the house that we saw too? Okay. A shooting star, bright yet fleeting. This is the house that we saw when there was lightning. Is anyone there? Hello? Is that me? Oh my goodness. Oh, thank goodness. It scared me. Flash saved me. If I'd been lost in this forest all night, I might not have lived to see the sunrise. Is that you us? taking a photo of the night sky. Are you an astronomer too? I'm a photographer. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Nat. Oh, it's I just not. started working at the observatory nearby. Okay. It's meteor shower season. Did Cute. you come all the way out here to take photos of the meteor shower? I'm here to take photos of the shooting stars. My memories led me here. That might seem weird. I'm gonna do it. Beautiful starry <laughs> sky is definitely a memorable sight. I bet whoever was with you back then is someone really important to you. Have you found yeah. a place from your memories? Hmm. I haven't gotten great results. All I could get was a blur. Not yet. I see. As a thanks for saving my life, let me be your guide. All right. Oh, wrong way. Wait! Oh my god, I lost her. Is it this way? <laughs> Have you heard about this theory of the stars? For generations, the pinnacle of human civilization has been defined by how scientists understand the universe. All right. I'm gonna get lost. Or do I just keep going? Oh, does the path matter? Which one I take? I don't actually... Where am I? <laughs> I'm assuming we are supposed to follow the stars because we study the universe because we want to know the meaning of our existence. Who are we? Where are we? And why are we here? This is very sweet. This way? Yeah. It's like we're obsessed with finding the one and only truth. But Pretty. Before we search for the ultimate answer, aren't there other things we want to know about the universe? Sure. Wow, so nice. Wow, isn't it amazing? Oh, <gasps> that's us. I don't know why I thought it was her hey, for a second. <laughs> look over there. Cute. There are millions of stars in the sky. Wow. Where you can find anything you could possibly imagine. Hmm. Can we? Oh yes. Connect the stars. This is so cute. Wow. I've never you been see, very good at these. Those stars make up the tail of Ursa Major. But Ursa Major never looked like a bear to me. All I see is a water strider. I don't see nothing. It's a pointy. Pointy. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, memories of starry skies. A picture engraved in your mind, do you mean? Sure. She's so cute. Oh my god. Is this the love of my life? Or uh, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Cute. Oh. oh my gosh. We're in the middle of nowhere, huh? Oh, here. Oh my gosh, I just missed one. Oh. <laughs> no wonder it didn't look like anything to me. <laughs> I didn't finish doing it. <laughs> oh, I see. Yes. When people look at the sky with a heart full of emotions, they see stars of their own. The universe gently responds and connects the dots for you. In the blink of an eye, you might lose sight of your star. But that doesn't mean it's gone. <gasps> might have connected it with other stars to form something new. Is that my mother? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I said she was the love of my life. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Unless it is different people. I don't know what my mother's name was. Those sorry. Those stars <laughs> the ancient Greeks Ursa Major and my little water strider. Oh they my god. dreams or even their loved ones. So crystal cute. Crystal clear and true to themselves. You can search for as long as you want. The stars aren't going anywhere. Oh, right. You can have this. Can we? Oh, I want to take a photo. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. This is a trinket I used to pray with when I'm faced with obstacles. But I think you need it more than I do right now. So cute. Okay, hold on. Hold on, Miss Ma'am. Can I take a photo of this one here? Yeah. I feel like that's probably what I was supposed to get the achievement for. <laughs> I just did it a little early. All right. Oh, I love the animation and the art style. It's very pretty. 
cute. Oh man. Constellation, my very own starry night achievement. Pocket compass, lead me back on track. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my God, it's all grown up now too. This isn't even like my old room as it was. It's like, this is an adult room. Look at that, with the little dolls. Oh, so we kept it. That's really cute. I'm very glad for that. Oh my God. I'm just gonna take a photo of everything now. <laughs> Why is it glowing? Oh my goodness. Okay. And a nice little closet. Wait, so was that my mother or was it not? I can't tell. Let me just uh, take a photo of absolutely everything in sight. Make sure I'm not going to miss another chapter thingy. Oh, we kept this box here too. Oh, we kept everything. So sweet. Nice. Oh, oh my God. This is, this is the photo. This is the photo from behind the frame, the finest scenery. That's so cute. I love the little Easter eggs. That's very adorable. Oh my God. These are all so cute. I'm so happy. It got so sad for a while, but I'm so happy now. <laughs> Can I also take a photo of this? I'm gonna do two, cause this is not a great photo, but photography enthusiast, time to organize the album. Oh, okay. I wanted to see if it was the same window. Oh, cause I maxed out. Yeah, okay. I can't tell if this is the end or not. So I'm just kind of, um, you know. <laughs> All right, let's open this up. It's flipping for me. Oh yes, this. Okay, now we can put this. Great. Wow, now this starry sky has found a place to call home. What about these ones? Looks like there was supposed to be photos here too. Interesting. Oh, I can't tell if that lady was supposed to be our mother or not. I was kind of thinking maybe it was some sort of weird like memory twist sort of thing. Like remembering how the mother was when she was younger. Just purely because of the starry image that we had made seemed like the mom. But now I'm not sure because maybe they're just different people. <laughs> I don't know. It seemed like different people at first when we first met. Okay, so maybe these are all the letters from the mom and that's the mom for sure. Oh, and a little piece of tape too. These are very cute. And we're traveling things too. So maybe we did go and travel ourselves. Oh, and there's the girl in a sandwich ticket. Wait, so did we go traveling with her as well then? Oh, <gasps> the cafe. This is so sweet. Oh my God, that is a cute photo. Wow, we did so many things together. Dried flowers and they're different too. <gasps> wedding, wedding ring. Okay, it is our wife. Okay. <laughs> I just, you know, I wasn't sure. <laughs> and there's space for more photos as well. Very sweet. Day, day, hey. we're almost at our stop. Okay. Oh, I can click on it. Okay. <laughs> Have a good nap. You were sleeping so soundly. I was reading your mom's letters. Oh, good. It's not our mom. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. Wow. This is so sweet. Oh. Oh, we brought them in the little puzzle box too. Oh my god, hello. Such a gentle person. <laughs> so close to me. I think you two have a lot in common. You don't want to miss out on any good views on this trip. Quick, snap a few more photos before we get off. She's so cute. Oh, and the glasses. Are those not the same glasses that were on there? Wait, so is it, is it our mother? I can't tell anymore. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it's not. I don't know. But me, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Your mom saw this view too, didn't she? The best souvenirs of a trip are always the kind you can't take home with you. They only leave traces in photos and in our hearts. You were given the best present in the world. <laughs> Forgot to press the shutter. An unwavering companionship achievement. The letters mention Cutie. stories of your childhood. Is there anything different that you noticed about this train? Yeah, you're here. <laughs> There's um a little thing here now that's new. Look, we're oh. There. oh my god, you scared me. Okay, hold on. Whoa! What's happening? Oh, this is so cute. Gamer. Oh my god. <laughs> We're really in the future. What did it say? You win. Nice. We love taking W's. <laughs> it does look quite different. This is definitely way farther in the future. That's for sure. That's a nice shot. This is so sweet. This also seems kind of more sky trainy just because of this, but maybe they have those on regular trains as well. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay. Is that all, ma'am? <laughs> she, she is just looking off. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do here. I can't interact with the luggages or anything either. Well, uh, maybe I gotta take a photo of this. Oh, wait, is it because my album is full? Have I not been taking photos at all? Oh, no. 
<laughs> oh no. Okay, hold on. Let me get rid of some of these, especially since we've taken all of them with us now. Oh wait, that was a cute one. Oh wow, well, gone now. Let's take some nice photos. Why to take little photos of you? Maybe that's why it said that I forgot to take the shutter photo. It's because I wasn't actually taking any photos at all. <laughs> This is so nice, though. Anything else that we need to be doing? Oh, I just had to click on it. I thought I just had to keep taking photos. <laughs> oh. Speaking of childhoods, I was raised in the countryside. Every night, I stared at the sky and looked at the stars, always trying to see if anything had changed. But then the war broke out, and even though I lived nowhere near the battlefield, all the smoke and the sound of gunfire still scared me. Oh, don't mind my ramblings. Keep on taking those photos. Okay. She's so cute. I wanted cute. to keep looking at the stars so badly. I started studying books on the subject, and eventually, I became an astronomer. I've always been so curious about the sky, and that curiosity for the unknown has always driven me forward. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. No. <laughs> There's still so much more to be excited about. So cute. <gasps> I envy how insightful you've always been, Day. Which one was this? I forget the names. From behind the frame? Is it Ginger? There was two of them. There was the fat it's one and the little late. one. We should get going. That is such a cute little detail. Oh my god. I'm sure that one is the baby because if this is set after behind the frame or I don't know. Oh, it's so cute. I don't care. <laughs> Either one of them. <laughs> Maybe it was Biscuit. Was Biscuit the name of the other one? Oh man. I love this game. <laughs> it's so sweet. Oh my. Oh, look at the little photographs on you too. <laughs> no, my photo album's getting full again. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna delete some of these old ones because some of these were not very cute. I was just taking photos to take photos, you know? <laughs> all right. I guess that's, that's all. <gasps> oh, there's a new cat. Oh, what happened to the black cat in the other photo? No. <laughs> this game is so cute. God. All right, okay, let's get going. I love this. <laughs> so cozy. Dear mom, how are you? What do you mean? Wait, so is it our mother? I'm so confused as to who this lady is now. <laughs> the star we saw so clearly that day. The star we've been yearning for. This is so very sweet. Oh, the squirrel. <laughs> What else will be waiting for us to chase after it next? So cute. I haven't found it yet. Day! Wait, there's too many things happening. Uh, it said, I haven't found it yet, but I'm sure the day will come eventually. Okay, the achievement was a fleeting moment. Don't miss your chance. I guess of the flying birds, perhaps. Oh, I'm glad all the nature went back. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Oh, I miss the butterflies. Well, hello, ma'am. So adorable. I feel like this is surely not our mom because of the wedding ring photo. You know what I mean? <laughs> I feel like that'd be strange. Okay, I am running out of spaces again. Here I was thinking 80 was too much. But it turns out 80 was not enough for slots. <laughs> All right, on my way. Oh man. Wow. Oh, it's just like the painting from our bedroom. Cute. Love that. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> is this the war memorial site? <laughs> it is very beautiful though. It's just a little, um, you know, not what I was expecting. Okay. Wait, did we come here alone? I thought maybe our wife slash maybe mother. What the heck is that? Oh, it's just a cloud. <laughs> I thought maybe it was like a blimp or something. Oh, she did come with us. So cute. Oh, the origami flowers. To mom. Oh my. That is so cute. Oh, that is so sweet. Stop. Oh man. <laughs> sunset, sunset. Oh my god, the baby photo is so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so do you think that is Day? Or maybe they had a kid? So it's definitely not the mom, right? It's definitely 
The music in this game is so nice too. It feels like playing a Ghibli movie, if that makes any sense. Just in terms of like the style and the kind of storytelling and stuff. So it's kind of cool because I don't know, like adding in all these cute little puzzles and just the discovery of the story along the way because it's a game I found to be quite sweet. That was so lovely. Very relaxing. Oh, the pursuit. The other star named you as achievement. <laughs> Cute. I wonder if we named our child EOS. I'm not sure. Okay, we do have more letters to read though. Instead of making you guys like sit through the entire thing again, I'm just gonna read the letters that I had missed because otherwise we'll be here all day. Figure this will be the easier way to do that. For chapter one, my introduction to photography. When I was little, mom would always come back from business trips with souvenirs from wherever she visited. When I received my first camera, I would spend entire afternoons, sometimes entire days, imagining all sorts of stories and trips to all sorts of places. I tried to take photos as well as mom could. A giant teddy bear taking a break and leaning on the Eiffel Tower. A giant robot lifting up the earth with its strong arms. A pirate ship cruising the desert, using a travel program on TV as a background. At a young age, I had already traveled the whole world from the comfort of my room. That was a very sweet one. So my first train ride. I'll never forget the first time mom took me on a trip when I took the train for the very first time. As the train slowly left the station, the bumping of the wheels against the train tracks gradually grew louder. The low rhythmic bumping sounded like the heartbeat of a train or perhaps the footsteps of a hundred people marching at once, carrying people's hopes and dreams to a faraway land, one step at a time. What kind of people were aboard this train? Where were they heading? Were they traveling somewhere far away? Or were they returning home? It filled me with anticipation towards the unknown and the world ahead of me. Alright, so for the cafe letter, the wooden doll in the cafe. One day, school ended early. I ran off by myself to take photos at the cafe my mom always visited. I watched the sunlight shift continuously on the street and listened to the album that played on loop. I captured every moment with my camera, exploring the world that was occurring and ever repeating. It was very late at night when I finally went home. Mom put down her phone and ran up to me, wrapping me in a big hug. I forgot what I said in the moment, but I remember that was a lie. Mom didn't say anything. She just pat me on the head and told me to take a bath before coming down for dinner. Oh, she was worried. Yeah, I guess if you're coming home quite late after school and you don't like tell her anything, yeah, it's kind of bad. Okay, so for this one, camping in the forest. In order to watch a rare meteor shower, Mom and I planned a camping trip in the mountains. Once we finished setting up camp, Mom looked up at the thick clouds in the sky worriedly. In the end, it was too cloudy for us to see the meteor shower at all. At least it didn't rain though. Mom and I had a hearty dinner together and we chatted by the campfire into the night, already planning our next trip. Very sweet. I'm definitely very glad that I played this and I hope that the devs make more things like this in the future. I also love that there was little easter eggs too to the behind the frame game because if you liked this one, you will love that one as well. It's definitely very much so along the same lines of like very cozy, emotional, sort of thing so yeah thank you again to the dev so much for gifting me a code to play i really really appreciate it i loved it so much all right guys that was it for the star named eos if you like to be watching on to more cozy games and or if you want to check out behind the frame the finer scenery i'll sure to leave some relevant playlists down below in the description box as well as all my social links will be down there as well so i really adored this game it was very heartfelt and said it a few times but i absolutely loved the soundtrack as well as the art style and just the narrative sorts of direct I guess that it took. I just really enjoy the way that it kind of allows you to discover the story a bit more gradually. Like you kind of start piecing it together a little bit, but it's not just kind of fed to you immediately. And yeah, I don't know. I just really enjoy that about these games. Yeah, I have no idea if they plan to make any more similar to this, maybe going over the different types of artists or something, because in the behind the frame was obviously about painters. And then this one was about photography. So who knows? Maybe they'll make one about like an author, a musician, or something. I have no idea. Or maybe something something completely different. That is going to be it for me tonight, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a like. It helps me out a lot, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, goodbye.